This has to be one of the most beautiful stud farms I've ever been to. It's Drakenstein in South Africa and we're here to find out a little bit more about them because of course people will have heard about their exploits on the track, those famous cornflower blue colours, but perhaps they don't know too much about the stallions who currently stand here, who include Trippy, very much a foundation stallion for the stud, and also Duke of Marmalay, one of a couple of European imports. Let's go and have a look around. Founded in 2004, Drakenstein Stud spans 130 hectares in the shadow of the Hoot Drakenstein Mountains. It's owned by Gaynor Rupert and her husband Johan, who have set about transforming it into one of the most successful studs in South Africa, even if still one of the youngest. The farm sits on the lower slopes of the Lomoran Vineyard and the acres of rolling pastures are perfect for rearing young stock. They and the overall running of the farm are the responsibility of Ross Fuller, stud manager since the operation began. He was joined some years later by Kevin Somerville, responsible for the racing side of the business, which numbers some 70 horses split between around 15 trainers. He talked us through the scale of the concern. Gaynor had a vision that she um, that she wanted to put together as a as a thoroughbred farm and and you know do it at a standard that was that was of international sort of standards and. Um, and she worked very hard to, to get the layout and everything done and so I think she's very happy with the way it's turned out. And how does the location and the environment here sort of help with, uh, in terms of, of, of you know, keeping stallions here and also breeding young stock? I mean obviously it's, it's virgin land so there was no horses here before. Um, they've done, you know, done a really good job to, to make it horse friendly and uh, you know, obviously our successes have um, you know, proved that you can certainly breed you know, top quality horses here both, both locally and internationally. So, we, um, yeah, we think it's, um, it's also, uh, you know, very close to Cape Town, uh, only an hour's drive away, which, which is really um, helpful to, to showcase it. So, um, you know, we're very happy with that, uh, the way it's going at the moment. There are currently five stallions on the Drakenstein roster, including a familiar name from Europe. He is none other than the astonishing five times Group 1 winner Duke of Marmalade, formerly trained by Aidan O'Brien. He's the sire of top-level winners Big Orange and Simple Verse, and hopes are high that he will continue his upward trend in South Africa. He's got his first crop of two-year-olds running in South Africa now, um, and we just think that his progeny will suit South Africa uh, better. We we like to sort of grow our horses a bit slower than than potentially you know some of the other the major ju racing jurisdictions. So his stocks seem to uh, well, they don't take a long time to come to hand, but they they need a little bit of time to maturing a bit like himself. Um, he was a, a good three-year-old racehorse, but he was a great four-year-old. And um, the majority of big racing in South Africa is, you know, for four-year-olds. And, um, you know, races like the, the Lomara Queen's Plate, the, the Sun Met, um, the Vodacom Durban July, those sort of races are, you know, for, for mainly won by older horses and, uh, and horses going a distance. So we think that Duke's progeny will suit South Africa and South African breeders. The European stallions are complemented by some of the best South Africa has to offer including exciting youngster Water Winter, a four-time Group 1 winner himself who has made a superb start to his stud career. Water Winter was followed out by the lively Futura, one of the best South African horses of the last decade. Winner of the Queen's Plate and Met, he's a relative newcomer to the stud but has gone down very well with breeders. Water Winter and, and probably Futura, they're the exciting new ones. Uh, Water Winter being a sort of, you know, more the sort of sprinter miler type of stallion. Um, he's done very well his first, first crop and he's been very popular with breeders. And then, uh, and then Futura adds a slightly different element. Um, a wonderful racehorse, um, four-time Group 1 winner as well as Water Winter and he's got his first crop foals on the ground. So it's quite exciting to see this, you know, see those, you know, that stock come through and obviously they'll go to the yearling sales next year but he's a, he's a, he's a stallion that, that really excites us here at Drakenstein. The roster is completed by two who hail from America. Philanthropist is proving himself as an international sire of notes, having had recent success in Hong Kong with Singapore Sling. While Trippy, even at 21 years old, is very much the star of the show. He's been a, an absolute star for us. Um, obviously champion sire in South Africa two years ago. And um, he's just been, yeah, I mean, he, he, he produced probably the, you know, um, the farm's best filly ever to race, a filly called Inara, who was so tough and uh, incredibly sort of durable as well. She, uh, she won five grade ones. Um, and he's added a lot to, uh, to, to, you know, to, the, to the farm and he'll be the foundation you know, stallion that the farm will probably be built on over the, over the next few years. 
Away from their beautiful base, Drakenstein have been celebrating plenty of success on the track. Their current flag bearer is Sunmet winner O Susanna, on whom Kevin was able to issue a positive update. We have about 100 broodmares on the farm um, and we, we basically we are a commercial entity. We, we take the majority of our yearlings to the sales. However, um, we like to keep a lot of the fillies back, so we, we retain most of the fillies to race. Um, they're sort of the backbone of the farm and, and everything you know, leans on them to, to succeed. So we need to be putting those sort of fillies into, into training and retaining them. Um, you know, you let go a filly, um, potentially like Inara, um, it's very difficult to, um, you know, to get that, get that sort of blood back. So we retain most of our fillies and we, we sell our colts at the sales. I know Susanna very much the, the recent star. Yeah, very much so. She has been a, a, a revelation. Um, I think first three-year-old filly ever to win the Jambu or the Sun Met, as it's now called. Yes, very much so. A wonderful, um, tough filly, um, and hopefully she's got a, a lot of more years to to enjoy. You know, to enjoy her racing. What's the the plan for her at the moment? So, I mean, the the program for three-year-old fillies would be quite tough. Um, so she she'll go to she'll probably have one more race possibly two in Durban and then she'll come back and she'll try to emulate what she did as a three-year-old um, we yeah we'll, we'll keep her in training for for as good as she's sort of telling us that she's happy um, certainly Gaynor likes to see them race and and uh, and enjoys their racing but obviously you know she she likes to bring them back and, and breed for them. so yeah she'll go for ultimately I suppose her plan is to come back and, and win the Sun Met again next year with things looking rosy, both on the track and at the stallion farm, the future for Drakenstein remains an exciting one.